equally as we worry about those leaving, we should worry about how do we engage with those inside. It requires that we have equal rights to work and, get, and opportunities to gain a living for the disabled population, providing the financial support, providing the infrastructure to participate, and to make sure we have inclusive physical and mental spaces. You won't see this one in the chart, and I, I want to bring it out, the LGBTQI population, because as we, we did engage with them, but we couldn't even get this deep into the analysis because the clear-cut answers we were getting, they still feel unable to speak, although it is higher for our female respondents. When we dug deeper into the data, there are certain other dynamics we as Caribbean policymakers need to now consider because the dichotomy between the private sector and the public sector when it comes to these variables is stark. We have to look at, we have these these employment rights, we have these treaties we have signed on to, are they passing on to the public sector? Are we seeing that equality of treatment and engagement in the public sector? Another thing that was critical came at the younger age working populations. The increased gender consciousness has benefited us. We're seeing early signs. The 18 to 24 categories are reporting similarly.